To know the notes on the fretboard is fundamental. You will really need to know where the note is to find chords, scales, identify the key, where is the accidents, sharps and flats. So it's really important that you master this when you're learning guitar. Not only learn shapes of chords and scales, but also know the notes that we're playing. Today I want to show you a system, the fretboard octave system, that will help you to identify the notes throughout the fretboard and how you can use this system for you to find chords and scales. So get your guitar and come practice the guitar with me. Hey everybody, I'm Everton Zakini, and if I tell you one note, can you find very quickly on the guitar? And the octaves of these notes, can you find quickly? For example, if I tell you a C sharp, can you find all the C sharps very easy? If it's hard for you to find the C sharp throughout the fretboard, take a look how I do this. This is a C sharp, C sharp, C sharp, C sharp, C sharp, C sharp, C sharp. C sharp. Very quickly, right? But what I do, I use a pattern a system that I can identify the octaves throughout the fretboard. This is what I call fretboard octave system. Very quickly that you can see patterns and you find the note. You just need to find the first note. So let's take a look how we can find these notes very quickly. The first thing that we're gonna do to find these notes throughout the fretboard is to split the fretboard in five regions. First region, we're gonna get from open string to fret four or three, it depends on the note that we start off. Then from this thread 3 or 4 to fret 7, then 7, 8, around to 10 here, and then 10 to 13. We're gonna start with the C note. So the C note, we have the first region here, okay, frets 1 to 3, then second region from 1 to 5, the third region from 5 to 8, fourth region from 8 to 10, and then the fifth region from 10 to 13. That's our regions for C. Some notes we start on fret two or three, and then it's gonna change a little bit. Now that we saw the five regions and that we're gonna start with the C note, the first thing you need to have the name of the open strings on top of your head that you can find the note that you want. If you wanna C, the first C that you have here, it's not the highest or the lowest, it's the first one that you can have in a fret. In this case, I have string two, fret one. It could be, for example, a B flat. Then the first note would be here, fret one, string five. So the first note that you need to find will be your open string, fret one or two. Doesn't matter if it's a high note or a low note. We're gonna work with patterns, shapes that we can find the octaves. We have here string two, fret one, C. And every time that I have the root note on string two, I have the octave, so an octave lower on string five, and we skip one fret, in this case fret three. That's a pattern. That's the first region. The next step, I will get the C here, and I'm gonna move to the second region. I have C on fret three, string five. Every time that I have a root note on string five, starting with finger one, I have an octave skipping one string and one fret. C and C. After this, I start on the third region, and all the octaves you connect to the other region. In this case, let's think of it as the finger that is in front, we have the starting point. So I will switch my finger three for finger one. And every time that I have a root note on string three, I will skip one string and I skip two frets. As this is a first string, this is E string, so on string six I have the same note. So here's the pattern. Okay, everything that you have on string one, you have string six, same note. So C, C, and C. Good, I have this pattern here, like a triangle. This triangle you move, now I have here, remember, I got my fingers that is in front, and then I move here, so I just connect. Finger one, I will use finger two, two, C, C, on the place of the C's that I was playing before. Every time that you have a note on string six with finger one, if you skip one string and one fret, you have the octave. And then I have the same note that I was playing before on string one. Now I got the next note here, so I have C here on my finger four, fret 10, and now I need to skip one string and two frets. There we go, C. Let's review. C, 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 C. This is 
is a pattern. So if I start with another note, it will be the same. For example, if I start with a D, this is C. The next note after C, it's a D. So I need to move one whole step. And the pattern is the same. So I start string two and five, then five and three, then three, one, six, then six, four, one, and four and two. Look at that the pattern is the same. I just move the shape to this system to other place. Now, if I start with the open string, actually I actually can start here. These two notes here, I have here D, which is the open string, just one octave higher, and D here, fret 15. The octave below is here on string two, fret three. So I start from here with the open string. Another example, let's start on A. And why are we gonna get the A? I wanna show you A because it's related to the caged system. So if you think about the cage, C, A, G, E, D chords, okay, the shape of the chords. If you know the cage, the second shape is A. So you have C, which is this one, and the next one is A. A, we're gonna start here, the first A, we have open string, so it's string five. A, remember, if I have the root note on string five, the next octave will be on string three. If we compare with the C, this is the C, the first one. Take a look here. C, the next one is C here. Okay, what I did, C, come back B, one whole step below I have A. So it's like I'm starting on C here, but start on A. So I start from the open string. But the pattern will repeat. So I have here, open string and string three. Then I move to the note in front. So I start on string three. So I have strings three, one, and six. Same pattern. If it was C, it would be frets eight, five, and eight again. So here, string six, I have the next pattern. String six, six, and four. Then I move here to string four, and I have this pattern. Then I have the next pattern here. This one here is the first one that I start on C. So it starts to repeat again. And then I can get an octave higher, which is this one here. Let's do one more. We're gonna do an F, but here's your homework for during the week for you to practice this exercise. Practicing all natural notes, and then you start to use the accidents, sharps and flats. But you can do just on a C, D, E, F, G, A, and B. That's a pretty good practice. At the beginning, it can be a little bit tricky, but with practice, this is gonna be very easy for you to find any note and it's gonna help you a lot. Let's visualize on F. With the F, we're gonna start on string six. We're gonna get this triangle here. So string six, one, and four. Then, what's the next one? Yeah, find on your guitar the next one. Give it a pause, fine. When you find, come back here. All right, the next one, it's here on string four, finger one, okay? Did you find it? Put in the comments, let me know if you find it. All right, so let's keep going here. String four, and then I have here on string two. Then string two and five. Five and three. And strings three, one and six. F, first region. Second region, third region, fourth region, and fifth region. There we go. It's the same pattern, so it's important that you identify and get used to the patterns. Now, why you need to visualize these octaves this way? First, as I mentioned before, the KJ system, you can find any chord. With these two notes here, let's get C again. This pattern has this shape of the chord. With these two octaves, I have this shape, A. With these octaves, shape of G. The next one, shape of E. So all C chords, then here, shape of D. Okay, that's a very easy way to find the chord shapes throughout the fretboard. Second thing, if you find the root note, you can play any scale. So here, if you know the major scale, C. This is C, C major scale. 
Here I have C, so I can play this key again. Instead of get shapes, starting on string six, this way you'll be easier for you to find the scales later. At first, it's gonna be a little bit harder to get used to the octaves and visualize the scales, but later, in the long term, it's much easier, much better for you to find any scale. And there's one more thing, if you wanna visualize the chord and the scale, it'd be very easy as well. You have shape of A, for example. I know that I have shape of A, my root note is string five, and this is the pattern of the scale. Or if I want a pentatonic. If I want a different note, if I want an F, F shape of C. No, that's my scale. It'll be very easy for you to identify scales and chords. Now I want to know if these tips helped you. So leave a comment, let me know, give your feedback. What do you think of this video, of this system using the octaves to visualize the notes throughout the fretboard? Also, if you're not subscribed to the channel yet and you wanna support, your subscription is really important, you help a lot. Do you wanna miss the lessons? Ring the bell and you get the lessons that I'm posting every week. If you liked it, hit the like because this will help you this lesson to reach more people. Now it's time for you to practice, get your homework, practice on the other notes, and when you're practicing, have fun. Thanks for watching, see you next time.